Hi everyone, I'm Alex and uh, as you might be able to tell from this sunny weather that's shining into my face I am still on vacation on the beautiful island of Lanzarote in the, uh, which is part of the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa Now check out what I found Yes, this is a charging station uh, which features an AC plug, a CCS combo plug Looks like this, we know this um, this is the port that's on my Model 3, on the European version one, and this is a Chademo, uh, Chademo, whatever you, you pronounce this plug. For those of you who are interested how the charging works, this is a charging station from, I think this is Ebil, whatever it's, it's called, Ebil, uh, and they have a card reader right here, and then uh, they say electric vehicle fast charger there. And they have a small, uh, sorry, this is super loud here. And they have a small um, kind of, you know, manual on how to do it, which is right here. So you plug in the car, it makes a click sound, then it's locked into the car. Um, and then this is how you unplug again. And uh, yeah, this is uh, fairly interesting. I, I like to see that. Um, so this is really cool. It's area the Energetica Lanzarote and they have a little solar panel and some uh, wind turbine kind of, you know, shown here, which is great, which is super cool. And I checked the uh, Superchargers map, which is a map, uh, I'll link it down below in the description, which shows you a bunch of charging stations, not only Tesla Superchargers, throughout the world. And I was surprised to see that there are actually a couple of them here on the island of Lanzarote and actually on the Canary Islands in general. Now, Alex, did you actually see any electric cars? Because it sounds like those cars here are really loud and non-electric. And I have to say, yes, I saw three electric cars so far. I've been here, uh, sorry, really loud. I've been here so far five days or something. Uh, I saw one Renault Zoe, another BMW i3, not sure if it was the range extender uh, version or the, the newer, like bigger battery one. And I saw a uh, Citroen car, which was interesting because it didn't look like an electric car, but it was driven by one, oh look, it, it looked similar to this car, like the Alpha 90 car down there in size. And it was driven by people who are maintaining the water uh, supply and pipes and whatever. So that was kind of cool. And also I saw a couple of charging, no, no, sorry, not charging spots, but a couple of parking spots, which were designated for electric vehicles. So they are at least doing something to encourage people to drive and buy electric cars. And since this is a fairly small island, it actually makes a lot of sense. You don't have to buy a uh, EV with a big battery since, you know, the, the infrastructure here um, allows you to charge up at home pretty much and then drive across the entire island and back with uh, most of the EVs that are currently out there and you won't ever have range anxiety. So that was it. Uh, I hope you find this interesting. If you um, would like to get more content and stay up to date, please make sure to subscribe. This is something that's completely free, nothing monetary, and you'll get the videos first and uh, free, as I said. And if you subscribe, there's a little bell icon next to it, which may uh, be helpful for you if you want to get push notifications of my new videos. All right, that's been it. Take care and have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.